Hi, welcome to Oka Hamster. Today I'll be viewing this Blue Smart OBD2 scanner, model U581. And it works for just about all vehicles that's built after 1996. Definitely at least with cars that's built after the year 2000. Here's some highlights printed on the box over here. Just pause and read it if you need to. In the packaging, came with a mini USB cable. Came with the interface cable for the vehicle. It's a user manual. And I just want to briefly go over the user manual here because there's a couple of important things in regards to updating the software. So towards the end they have the website where you can download the newer firmware if you ever need to update it. So that's the website right there. Here's a scanner. It's got a backlit LCD 180 by 640 pixels. Very nice buttons. Nicely separated, so if I was wearing gloves, I can still easily press it. I enter, left, the uh, selections, escape, right. That's the mini USB port, right on the bottom right over here. And there's a car interface port right up here. The cable from the scanner, I'll plug it into the car interface, which is this white part right here. It's grayish area. And it's located right under the driver's side console. Um, moment I plug it in. It beeps. This is powered directly from the car's 12 volt battery. Let's just turn the ignition to the on position and press the enter key. And press enter. Let's just do a little scan of my system here. So I don't need the, the car to be in the fully turned on. Alright, so currently data freeze, that's as the DC count, not much. There's nothing, zero. Trouble codes, let's go to enter. No codes for this vehicle. Everything's repaired with, with this vehicle here. And the car I'm using this one is the 2009 Honda Accord EXL V6. Can you erase codes? If I had a check engine light and there were codes, I can always erase it if I want to. And what's, what's also good is that, let's say that I erase the codes, check, check engine light's gone. I reached the codes because the car has been repaired. Well, then I can drive a little bit and go to the IM status here. And here I can check whether or not the system is okay to be taken to DMV for inspection. Because just because I reached the codes doesn't mean that I can take it there. I still need to drive it off for drive it around a little bit. So everything for my car checks out. Let me turn the car on. And now that the vehicle is powered on, I can go to number three, like view live data if I wanted. See, now in this situation, there's a benefit to having such a large LCD display. It's just a lot easier to read, especially if it's backlit. It'll cost a lot less for you to try to fix your car yourself first. These a lot of parts, they're very inexpensive. It's always the labor that costs a lot. So I always just take the trouble codes that appears through the scanner, go to the web, do a little scan for my car's make and model, and just go order the parts from like either like AutoZone or Pet Boys. It's a lot cheaper. So yeah, this thing does its job. Now there are there are some cons. For example, the LCD. Uh, if you see like there's a little this little frame over here, uh, it's I think it covers too much of LCD. If I were to go to let's say like live data for example, you see fuel. The first word F. F is partially cut off. I got turned a little bit. It would be nicer if this black little frame isn't there. I'm not sure why they put it there. This is blocking part of the LCD screen. Besides that, this is a decent scanner and I would recommend it. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching for Hamster. Bye.